In this video, I'm gonna provide an update to our boat ownership with the moorings. There have been quite a few updates on our boat purchasing process with the moorings since my last update. I'm gonna go through these updates in a chronological order, kind of by month as they happen, and to bring us up to date as of December, 2023. If you haven't seen my previous episode talking about the moorings ownership program, I'll link it in the card above so you can take a look at that one. My two partners and I and our spouses finally got together on a name and our Moorings 5000 Leopard 50 Catamaran is named Waymaker. In August, while I was actually on a charter with my family in Key West, uh, we were able to solidify the name Waymaker. Uh, we also decided uh, to name the LLC that we're forming for the boat ownership Waymaker Sailing LLC. Please don't take any of this uh, information in this video as, as advice. This is just what we've done. Um, I would highly recommend seeking out legal counsel and or uh, CPA to set up the structure of your boat ownership. However, what we decided to do, the three partners and our spouses, was to form an LLC with all of us as members at the percentage of ownership of the boat. We then contributed our portion of the funds to the LLC and the LLC in turn purchased the boat from the moorings. On August 25th, we closed on the boat and became owners of a moorings 5000 in the British Virgin Islands. The moorings also was able to provide us with a photo, our first photo of Waymaker as it was being lowered into the water in South Africa being prepared to be shipped to Martinique. The original plan was to move the boat from South Africa to Fort Lauderdale for hurricane season and then to the BVI uh, to begin charter in November. However, because of a couple of storms and the way that the moorings was currently staging the boats, the boat was offloaded in Martinique and stored in St. Lucia for hurricane season before being brought up to the British Virgin Islands. Uh, immediately after we closed on the boat, our next step to make sure that the process uh, continued moving forward was to obtain the United States Coast Guard Certificate of Documentation. This process only took about a week or so and went fairly smoothly. It's basically we fill out a form and pay the U.S. Coast Guard fee and we receive that uh, Certificate of Documentation. That we then in turn provided to our rep at the moorings and they were able to begin the next step of getting the charter license with the BVI government. While all of this was going on, I had booked a charter uh, for friends and family actually on Waymaker. Pending the BVI charter licensing approval, Waymaker was supposed to go into the charter system as of November 1st. Our charter was to begin on November 2nd, so in an ideal world, we would have had the very first charter on Waymaker in the BVI. However, due to the delays, this did not happen. The charter license was not approved in time, and come to find out, the boat actually hadn't arrived in the BVI as of yet. So for that reason, Moorings booked us on a backup charter boat, another Moorings 5000, and we were, which I was grateful for, and we were able to complete our charter as we had booked it, uh, which was great. When we arrived uh, in early November in the BVI, I immediately went to the check-in desk, not only to check in for the charter, but to try to see if I could locate Waymaker. There were several new Moorings 5000s that had come in within the previous week, however, I began to go around checking serial numbers and uh, boat order numbers and none of them matched up. So I was a little disappointed that we didn't get to see Waymaker when we first arrived. However, we would get good news later in the charter that would make this possible. I sent a, an e a follow-up email to our contact with the moorings uh, towards the end of the trip because I didn't want to miss an opportunity to at least see, if not step on board Waymaker while we were down there in the BVI. She replied that a couple days before the boat had actually arrived at the moorings in the BVI. So the good news is we were going to get to see her before we left. Once we returned to the base at the end of our charter and got docked, I went back up to the counter to see if I could locate our boat. Uh, I met with Dale at the moorings base who was absolutely incredible and walked around with me uh, looking at all the boats that had come in while we were out on charter. We checked the A dock, we checked the B dock. Things weren't looking good until we headed over to the C dock, uh, 
where they had another one, another Moorings 5000 that they were prepping that had just arrived. And there she sat. Waymaker had arrived in the BVI. She was absolutely beautiful. Now we had just gotten off the same exact boat, a sister ship to Waymaker. But there was something different about stepping aboard our boat. And this was our Moorings 5000. And it had the new boat smell. Uh, I was absolutely amazed at how the moorings is able to receive and prep a boat for charter within three days. They had a crew of probably four or five uh, gentlemen on board Waymaker prepping her as we were walking around taking pictures. Uh, my wife and I kind of just took a moment to step on board and just kind of sit and take it in the fact that, that this was our boat and that it was finally in the BVI. Um, it had been a, it's been a long process. I mean, it started over, I think we put the initial deposit down in February of 2022. We closed in August of 23, and we actually stepped on board in November of 2023. So it was a long process, but it was exciting to be on board. I was really impressed by how the Moorings has everything delivered to the boat uh, package as far as the the plates, the cups, the cutlery, the life jackets, the the lines, the fins, everything was being staged in the cabins as we walked around. Um, and it's just impressive to see how, how streamlined that process is. Again, that boat arrived wrapped in plastic, no sails, uh, no running rigging, anything like that. And three days later, it was ready to charter pending the charter license from the BBI government. So my next plan was, since we had some short notice points remaining, was to try to get on board uh, Waymaker before the end of the year. However, uh, after shooting an email to our rep at the moorings to try to get it booked, I was informed that it was booked solid until the end of the year and, and there wouldn't be any availability until uh, January of next year. So I guess that's good news. Uh, we didn't get the first sale the first charter on Waymaker. However, that means somebody else can work out the kinks and figure out all the little issues that are inevitable with a new boat. Uh, and then hopefully next year sometime we can get down there and charter on Waymaker. Great, uh, more great news is the crew that we went on the uh, charter with in November wants to make this an annual trip. So we're already planning for the same time next year. And hopefully this time we can be on board Waymaker. So that'll be exciting. So I hope you enjoyed this update uh, about our boat and our buying process and kind of where we are now as of December 2023. If you have any questions about the process, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer those and make a follow up video if necessary. Uh, and if you'd like to follow along on this process, feel free to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.